Are you waiting for tips for your investments? Then today's nugget section will talk about that. Hi everyone, finally a chaotic week comes to an end. Welcome to the update of 9th August. And if you are confused with a thumbnail which says India won two Olympic medals and that is our markets were up today, there was actually no reason for market to go up today. And we are not alone. This was US on Monday. This was US yesterday. We mimicked Thursday of US in the Indian market today. And today US markets are again looking weak. This graph keeps on changing direction every day as a result. Today it was mostly up. Three or four sectors down. Yesterday it was reverse. These are the high-end builders in India which build property in Bangalore, Mumbai, NCR, Hyderabad, Pune and so on. This is where maximum real estate spending will happen in terms of listed companies. The execution capabilities of all the builders has been going up. The only dreaded thing they don't want is a recession in the real estate market that can decimate these stocks. The brother of real estate sector is automobile that is also driven by sentiment and the happy feeling of prosperity. Most of the companies in the listed space have multiplied in the last couple of years. But again, this sector also just like real estate is super sensitive to recessionary conditions. The slightest hint of recession, job cuts like the ones which are happening in India. So yesterday, for example, Reliance announced that 11% job cuts in Reliance Industries across the board. So those conditions kill both of these sectors if there is general fear and panic about job losses. Nifty and Bank Nifty had strange graphs today. Both of them opened gap up as expected and then they were linear. Gold has dropped about 8-9% to since the budget event here in terms of ETF values. So gold ETF now depict the value which should be after the duty cuts of gold calibrated or rather recalibrated to the values they were at on the budget day. Sea of greens today, the only red was Bitcoin which was down 2.3%. Each and every nifty stock today, even ATL was up. Reliance, the big boy was up 1.65%. So markets cannot stay down. Nifty was up 1.03% as a result. Banking did well as well. HDFC, ICICI, SBI, all of them were in good mood today. Mamar declared their results good profit. Their PE has come crashing down to 120 now. Ola Electric had a good IPO, 20% upper circuit from the price discovery. They closed at 91. Looking at the jubilation in the market, on Monday, this will probably cross 100 mark. Each and every index was up today. FIs also joined the party and bought, but bought a little only. Yesterday, US market also, everything was up. That too, more than 1% for each and every stock. Now, yesterday only I was saying, and today I changed this, but Microsoft and Apple, both are now $3 trillion company. So companies are now switching between $2 trillion and $3 trillion. They are undecided which trillion they want to stay in. Gold up, silver up, GDRs are looking good, crude has increased, rupee has not gone anywhere. Reliance was a stock of the day, just kept getting better and better after a gap up opening. TCS was a bit choppy, started at the highest point of the day, but closed down. HDFC also gave up the gains towards the end of the day. The public sector banks actually picked up after 1 o'clock suddenly. CPNB, Bank of Broda, SBI. The interest totally changed from private sector to public sector. In today's market also, IRFC was down 0.6%. But besides that, nearly every bank was up. Volumes were still not high. Nothing crossed 100%. GRSE market did not like the results at all. I've been saying this that the shipping companies will not reflect the growth compared to the order book they have. They simply lack the execution capabilities or the expansion capabilities. So they don't deserve the P's at which they are trading right now. Cochin Shipyard still was okay. It closed about 3% up. The results were slightly better than GRSE. Besides GRSE, each and every stock was up today. Metal Steel Authority today cracked big time 6%. Hindustan Zinc also continued its journey down. Rest of the stocks were doing well. Software had a good day. The entire pack was up. The top three stocks, the big ones, they were up anywhere between 1.5 to 2%. The volumes here also were very low. While we have direct measures for DI and FI participation, retail can only reflect in the volumes to some extent. Energy sector was doing okay. Nearly all the stocks were up a little. ONGC and oil are on a boil. But believe me, this interest will fade away as soon as crude goes up because that will also come with windfall tax. Consumption stocks were mixed back today. ITC, Nestle, Britannia, Tata Consumer, Mariko, Patanjali, minor uptick in all of them. Our Godre and Dabar were down a lot. HUL, the biggest of them all, was up half percent. 
द लार्जर प्लेयर्स हैड वेरी लो वॉल्यूम्स टूडे टूडे आई अपडेटेड द ई पी एस पी एंड पी जी नंबर फॉर ऑल द स्टॉक्स बिकॉज रिजल्ट सीजन इज नियरली कमिंग टू एन एंड एंड आई ऑल्सो अपडेटेड द पी सी आर डेटा टू वॉट वॉज देयर इन द मिडल ऑफ द डे सडनली बेस्ड अपॉन द लेटेस्ट डेटा ग्रीड जम्प फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट टू फिफ्टी थ्री परसेंट दिस इज ह्यूज वॉट डेट मीन्स इज स्टॉक प्राइसिस हैव गॉन अप हावर रिजल्ट हैव नॉट बीन गुड एट ऑल suddenly greed is higher and it has overtaken fear i know that this indicator is still evolving however it does reflect what i was thinking for last one week or two week that why the greed is not increasing that is because i had not updated the number post result this is looking lot more realistic and believable to me now today 31 sectors were up yesterday 9 were up varun beverages improved a bit 1.3% today asian paints also was up but delight was down today also Coal India up, LNT was up. However, RVNL was down a lot. So was IRB. I talked about trend last couple of days. Today it was up 11 percent. The results were fine. The profit more than doubled. It is also getting included in Nifty. But this is getting absurd in terms of pricing. Kfin Tech was up today also 18 percent. Insurance was mixed bag today. LIC and SBI Life were up. However, HDFC Life was down. ICICI Twins actually did not do much today. Investment banking was looking good. Biggest gains were in CDSL in terms of percentage. For nearly a decade, no one wanted to own Suzlon. Now everyone wants to own Suzlon, up five percent. A bit of buying return in Kalyan Jewellers because gold is bottoming out. Titan also was up one percent. Nifty Fifty six stocks down, forty four up. The ones in fear: BPCL, Shriram Finance, Axis Bank, Bajaj Auto, Indusind, Tata Motors, ICICI Bank, Coal India. Note that not necessarily these stocks are at the bottom. some of them are nearly at 52 week high but still there is value in these stocks this is just an indicator which is going to highlight the stocks for you so that you take a more informed decision divis lab hdfc life jsw steel hero motor corp sbi life insurance icher motors all of them are in the greed zone primarily because the eps is not growing as fast as the stock has already run up next 50 16 stocks down 34 up best performance trend info edge canara bank shriram finance mother san sumi my trades for the day i bought back bse and i averaged on mrpl but i bought very little quantity the losses are close to 20% i can't recover them in quick time unless i average lower now i needed money so i sold off ramkrishna forging and mrs bactor the profit was around 4 5% on both of the stocks i have found both of these stocks good for the long term portfolio also i'll probably move them into smaller quantities in the long term portfolio one thing i have observed in the last few months is that only 20 30 stocks and actually the top 10 stocks they are in most demands the change percentages also are very high if you are an old timer you would know that these large cap did not used to move so much unless there was a terrible news or a fantastic news that was once in a year but these days 3 4% movement has become a norm even for ultra large stocks markets haven't gone sideways for years now like the graph i showed you today where index is literally flat for the whole day week months nothing is happening it is totally range bound so market needs some action either go up or go down inflation cannot cool down rbi in india as well as the fed they are chasing wrong goals the inflation is not because of commodity prices the inflation is because of excessive currency printing so they'll have to change the formula the way they measure inflation that will bring inflation down bringing interest rates down will not help at all in any way either in us or india think of it is anyone not buying a house or a car because interest rates are high i don't think so this should be imports not exports our imports will not decline we will continue to import coal though we might be holding the largest reserves of coal us has held the largest reserves of oil for some time they have increased the production a little now but they have been importing crude for decades now so our rupee will remain under pressure it will keep on depreciating and imports will keep on increasing wars also will not end the next one will probably be china taiwan india will get involved at some stage in some war also similarly money printing will also not end all major governments are trade deficit beat europeans beat americans beat indian the only way out is money printing now what could bring down the market suddenly a lot a big crisis like a war involving india maybe a political instability civil war situation i am not suggesting these will happen but these could 
major state debacle. For example, if UP goes to say to the opposition, so that will create a havoc because Rajya Sabha seats suddenly will not look in majority at all for the ruling party or a pandemic like event. So one of these crises may bring down the markets to their knees 20, 30, 40 percent down. Otherwise, minor corrections, minor dips may keep on happening. Now, within all these things, there are stock specific opportunities always around. I'm highlighting six stocks here. Asian Paints has been sulking for a long time now. Earlier, it was the crude prices. Now, there is a threat from competition. Most people are happy with 15% in a year. So, this much Asian Paints has just given in last about a month's time. Indusind is at a multi-year low. Is it a bad stock? No. Is it the best stock? No. Will the bank go anywhere? It has sustained many, many big crises. But will it rise from the ashes? Yes. When? How much? I don't know. Now, direct impact of the budget was on Titan and all gold companies. They are stuck with old gold at high prices. Gold prices going down is actually good for Titan because people will be able to afford gold jewelry more. There is no competition to Titan coming at all. HDFC Bank has moved up recently. Otherwise, for five years, it was infamous for not giving any returns to any investor. HUL similarly has gone up now. However, for five years, HUL did not give any returns. It is the biggest consumption story in India. Bajaj Finance, it was the darling of the industry for nearly a decade, maybe more. It has created fortune for so many people. However, it is down a lot right now. What is the problem? Will Geo disrupt it completely? So there will be enough stocks at any point of time, which will be on the streets, thrown on the streets, no one willing to buy. Now, what we could do as retail, keep money aside for a dip and crash. If something happens, then yes, there should be money. You should not be running out of ammunition. This is something you might disagree with, but please don't pre-decide stocks and sectors. All of us are waiting, for example, for a dip now in HDFC Bank. That may not come for years. Look for stocks that are fantastic, which are not going down, which means companies not closing. Management is sound. Earnings are still there. Blue chips are not necessarily safe all the time. We have seen HDFC go down for two consecutive years when FIs were continuously selling. Blue chips are always usually overly expensive unless they are going through a bad time. I already mentioned this point. Blue chips are usually overowned by FIs and DIs, good and bad. Titan has been expensive minus current days for more than 10-15 years. Same with Asian Paints. So in my opinion, there is not much to wait for in terms of a dip to do major buying you might have already been waiting for maybe a year or two years now hope this section was useful thanks for watching i'll see you next week